What do you eat for living? This small question that Monk Sun Jay asks leads to the answer of how we will live. This is because food builds the body, arouses thoughts, and moves the mind. A bowl of rice and a bowl of soup lead our karma and destiny. The food story told by Monk Sun Jay awakens the Buddha's truth that everyone in the world is a Buddha. Even unfamiliar wild grasses have their names. It's a great food ingredient that's alive and edible with a name. If you know that there is a Buddha in the flower and that there is a Buddha in the food, you cannot neglect the food. For over 30 years, Monk Sanjay has lived as a Buddhist monk and chef of temple cuisine. Monk Sanjay wants the world to recognize as a practitioner who shares her wisdom with others rather than the name of the Korean number one temple food master and food expert. Because she knows that food is, after all, a tool of practice and a path to the Buddha's truth. This book is a collection of stories that she wanted to share with others, such as food, the very basis of life, what is it? It is a way to reach wisdom as I wake up to my mercy while trimming food ingredients for others and for someone and learn the harmony between my body and the world through meals. She's always saying that food is a tool for meditation and leads to a process of practice. This is what she means to let the world know about temple food. Food is like medicine. The wrong food hurts the body and mind. Temple food only modifies the body and mind and sometimes finds out that you and the world are one. Making food is important, but it is eventually completed by the person who eats it. Don't eat too much and don't eat only delicious things in pursuit of your tongue senses. You must know how to eat food wisely. You should not eat without thinking. And if you know the true taste of food, you can feel the taste of joy and energy. She emphasizes, eating well is the way to love yourself the most today. The disease is also a result of karma. Even if you can only cover your food, it is a way to protect yourself before getting sick. It's a way to look back on life before eating it with taste, to estimate the value of life, and to make myself whole. So temple food is a food for life. Buddhism practices the process of waking up from everyday life, knowing myself with all your heart, and knowing the cause and harmony of the world. Food is with daily life, so nothing is more important than that. It's like air. Monk Sun Jay tells the story that good food benefits not only this life, but also the next life. Food that is well harmonized with the world, there is a clear answer to her story of temple food, what to eat, how to eat, and what to live for.